Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, welcome to the next lecture of the Web Engineering Lab. Uh, I'm your instructor, Engineer Mayabad, and in today's lecture, I'll be covering the topic of JavaScript. You people already know that we have uh, already covered the HTML, CSS, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript in the Bootstrap section of our lab. Uh, but uh, we, but we used the classes of Bootstrap in uh, the previous labs. So in today's uh, lecture I'll be covering the syntax and semantics of JavaScript programming. So basically JavaScript is a high-level um, object-oriented programming language and it is one of the core technologies of <coughs> web development <coughs> alongside with HTML and CSS. JavaScript enables interactive web pages and, and it is an essential part of web application. Uh, almost all the major web browsers like uh, we have Chrome, Mo uh, Mozilla, Firefox, uh, Safari, Edge, etc. We uh, all all of all of those um, web browsers have JavaScript engines already installed in it to execute the JavaScript uh, pro uh, programs. Okay, so basically there there are three core technologies of web development: HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML is basically uh, you can say it's the skeleton or it's the structure of a website whatever you see uh, uh, in, in the website the structure of it it is done uh, using the HTML then comes the CSS CSS your you people already, already know that it's used for styling you use CSS to make the website appealing and then comes JavaScript JavaScript is basically um, it, it makes a website interactive like for example if you want to hide a picture or if you want to show a picture or a paragraph or if you want uh, to, sc to, to scroll uh, to sc uh, make um, uh, scrolling effects in your website and many other things you use JavaScript for that all right so let's start with the basic uh, JavaScript uh, programming I must say, uh, I, I must say in the start that I will not be focusing on how the programming works because you people are already in the final year. So I would expect that uh, all of you should be having the uh, uh, the background of programming. You people know how uh, how does variables works, how how does if else statements works, how how does loops work. So I'll just be focusing on the syntax because. Uh, the, the thing different in JavaScript other uh, than other languages is only the script. Okay, so first of all, uh, I, I would use um, I would open the uh, uh, visual uh, visual code, and I'll open this starter uh, folder in it. I've already provided it uh, with this video, so you may use that. So let's open the file uh, new folder open folder desktop uh, starter select folder okay so uh, open the index.html starter file so you can see that okay we can import JavaScript in. Uh, we can import the JavaScript. Okay, sorry, this is HTML. Sorry. Uh, using two types: the inline and importing the JavaScript uh, file from some other file. So let's first work on the inline. I would say that simply uh, console dot um, lock as usual we would uh, just wave the world hello so hello world uh, we'll save it let's run this using the live server <coughs> Sorry, it's taking a while because my uh, windows just updated <laughs> so okay 
So how would you see the output of this? Um, Uh, of the script just right click go to inspect elements and in the inspect element you should go to console okay it says hello world okay now what will I do I will use the import option of the JavaScript I would simply come here and I would write JavaScript source that is script.js that is this one file okay so I will use this file okay I have already worked on it let's let, let's do one thing let's just remove everything from it and just save it okay now let's write a uh, console dot log hello world save it and oh sorry I have the hello world over there so what have I used I have used the HTML uh, file the starter file and I have imported the source uh, JavaScript file in this uh, HTML file and I've run it using my browser anyways okay let's uh, uh, before beginning I must say that <coughs> the JavaScript uh, about the JavaScript it is uh, said that everything in the JavaScript is an object so whether uh, <coughs> that's a variable that's a function that's an object itself everything is considered as an object okay that was just a side note so let's begin uh, let's say I make a variable let's say first name and let's make it Ali uh, then I would make a second variable that is variable last name and let's make it like Khan um, maybe we can make a new variable of uh, let's say job what does Mr. Ali Khan do so I would write like uh, maybe he's a designer okay then uh, what's his age so his age would be <coughs> uh, let's say he's 24 years old okay okay now let's save it I don't have anything over here how to output it I would just simply say console dot log let's say I just want to output his first name I would simply write first name and simply save it so his first name is Ali let's make a, 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 a proper uh, output so I would write that Mr. Ali is Mr. Ali uh, last name plus just change the view uh, is hmm, this much is old and he is a this by profession so this is uh, how you use uh, how you uh, output uh, the variables along with the strings so let's save it so it says that Ali Khan is 24 years old <coughs> and he is a designer by profession all right <coughs> now let's say just comment it <coughs> Mm. 
now I would write an alert and it would say uh, okay leave that for a while I would make a prompt uh, let's say I, it asks me my name your name and it says it's a prompt and it says uh, let's say what's your name right then I will uh, just print it hello and I'll use uh, this variable your name along it save it okay uh, what's the problem mm, oh, sorry forgotten the closing okay so I have used the prompt function what is the prompt function this is my prompt function whatever you write in there it will just be prompted and it will get uh, it will uh, get an input from the user so I would say let's say it says what is your name I would say sorry I would say Ivan when I click OK it will say hello Ivan it will just uh, display it okay so this is how you prompt something in JavaScript okay now uh, let's say um, a very uh, a small program um, let's say I want to uh, uh, calculate the BMI of someone so what would I do for BMI I need the uh, the height and weight of a person I would say variable let's say uh, <clears throat> Ali again mr. Ali Ali underscore weight is equal to let's say 60 uh, let's say uh, Ali underscore height is equal to uh, let's say he is uh, 3 meters and uh, so, so, so let's calculate his BMI. I would simply say variable Ali underscore BMI is equal to uh, Ali underscore weight divided by this is this is just a formula of uh, the BMI divided by Ali underscore height multiplied by uh, Ali underscore height okay so now let's console it console dot log and I would say that the BM the BMI of Ali is what would I write? Ali underscore BMI. So now let's run it. So it says that the BMI of Ali is 6.6667. So, all right. So that was just a, a really small program, a practice program. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, so now uh, let's uh, talk about if else statements so let's say I have a variable of let's say a name and it is let's say uh, anyone mm, again Mr. Ali and let's say um, yeah Let's know his civil status. status. 
he is he is single okay so if i write if the civil status is equal to merit you must note that here in javascript we use three equal to signs for uh, checking if it is equal to or not so if civil status is equal to merit we should console log uh, we would say that name is sorry name plus is merit okay else I would say that console block right name will marry soon of course if he likes so he will marry soon so now let's run this so it says that Ali will marry soon again if he likes but if it is let's say married so it would say that Ali is married okay this was a very simple uh, if else statement uh, uh, let's say I do the same thing using our uh, uh, okay let's do the same thing using our um, ternary uh, operators uh, so I would write list I would write variable uh, married or single is equal to so if civil status is equal to married I would console say that name is married okay and if the cell status is not equal to married it would say console and just copy paste the same you know say that Ali will marry soon so it it's known as a ternary operator let's say civil status if this is equal to married it will it would uh, console uh, out uh, name is uh, Ali's married or the alternate would be if it is single so it would say he will marry soon okay, just remove this comment don't need it at the moment so it says Ali is married if we make it single it will say Ali will marry soon so it's the same thing as in this one uh, if else statement but it is uh, done using the ternary operator okay now let's move towards switch statements we, you have already used it in C, C++, uh, the switch and case statements. So let's say I make, 
a switch statement uh, of jobs I will write variable job is equal to let's say an instructor okay now I would switch between the jobs switch of the option job and if the case is uh, teacher let's say so it would say uh, we're even making an instructor let's say instructor <coughs> so it would uh, console out console dot log let's say uh, name teaches students teach students I don't know what has happened to my typing but okay so this is the first case then I would write a break statement because if it is true the loop will uh, the switch statement will and it will it would not go to the second case okay let's say if the job is uh, let's say is a driver so I would write console.log and name uh, let's say drives uber maybe okay and break same is the case if he is let's say uh, if he is a designer right console dot log designs websites let's see is a website designer break and a, a default case if not if no case is true it would just console out let's say I write name uh, does something else whatever it is okay so the name does something else so uh, so this is how you uh, write this switch case statements what have I done I have made a variable of job of instructor then I'm I made decisions using the job variable using switch so the first case is instructor if then uh, this name is an instruct uh, as an instructor it would console uh, it would display that let's say Ali teaches student teach students so then we will write a break statement just to not not to go to the second case if he's a driver and if he's a designer it would uh, display as such. Let's save it. It says that Ali teaches Ali teaches students. Let's say I write here driver. So Ali drives Uber. Let's say I write something else. Let's say ABC. It would say Ali does something else because it, it didn't found any case relevant to the job. So the default display would be there. Okay. So this was about the switch statement. <clears throat> now the next topic is uh, uh, functions. I have a I have a list, and it says the next topic is function. But I have uh, okay. So now just uh, comment it out. Let's start with functions. In JavaScript, you write functions as you write function. Let's say uh, you calculate 
someone's age. So you would write calculate age and I would pass the birth year. Birth year. So it would just return <coughs> this is 2020, a very hard year I must say, minus birth year. So it would return this. Let's uh, let's call this function now. So variable. Uh, let's say age of uh, Ali. It will be calculate age, and I would pass. Let's say he was born in 1990. I would write another one, and that would be age of. Let's say Ahmed. And let's say he was born in 1980. So I would now console it, console out it, and it would say the age of uh, Ali and the age of um, Ahmed. Okay, so now let's run it. So the age of Ali is 30 and the age of Ahmed is 40. So this is how you uh, make functions. It's a very, very, very simple function. Let's go a little advanced in this. Okay. So now uh, let's make a function. Let's say, let's say, let's say, okay, in which we, we, we calculate uh, the years until someone's retirement. We would give it. Uh, we would give the function uh, the name of the person and uh, the year in which he was born. So, it would. Uh, what would it do? It would. Uh, it would return the years until retirement. But for that, I would be needing this function. Right. Okay. Because I have to first calculate the age and then I have to um, calculate the years to retirement. I would write function uh, years until uh, retirement. I would pass the year and let's say the name of the person. <coughs> okay, first of all I would what would I do in the function? I will make a variable of h, and h will be calculated from the previous the previous uh, function that we have just made. So I would pass the year to him to uh, to, to the uh, previous function. Now let's say I make another one. So variable of uh, retirement, it will be let's say here in Pakistan it is 60, so I would be writing 60 minus h. Now write if retirement is greater than uh, let's say zero I would write a uh, console.log mr. or miss name has all sorry retires in
already <coughs> it's already right okay now let's <coughs> send this uh, function some data so here's until retirement I would input let's say uh, someone is born in 1990 <coughs> I would write that he was born in 1990 and someone else was born in let's say 1948 and his name will let's say Akbar very old name <coughs> Okay, so let's run this. So it says that Ali retires in 30 years and Akbar is already retired because the <coughs> in, in the first case the retirement <coughs> variable has uh, a value greater than 0 so it would display this line and in the second case in the Akbar case it was less than 0 because uh, his age is more than 60 so it would be in minus so it would display this line okay okay so now let's uh, move towards arrays how do we define arrays mm. okay so arrays There are uh, two ways to define arrays. I hope I haven't covered it yet. Okay, yes, I haven't covered it. Okay. <clears throat> there are two ways to define arrays in JavaScript. Number one is, let's say I write, uh, variable, again, the same Ali. <clears throat> His name is, let's say, Ali. His last name is Khan. His date of birth is 1990. Let's say he's a designer. Okay, so that's one. So this is the first way to uh, define some uh, an array. Another way to define an array is using, let's say, uh, Name, uh, let's say age age of uh, some some people I would say new array and I would a add ages in in this so these are the two uh, ways how you define arrays number one and number two okay now let's play around with this array what what I can do in this array is I can uh, I can uh, push other values in it I can pop values from it let's say uh, I would like to add mr. to this uh, name Ali Khan so I would just simply write uh, Ali dot push mr. okay uh, before that, sorry. Before that, let's just first console out those previous arrays. So console dot log Ali. Right. So it's Ali Khan 1990 and designer. If I console out H, it'll say 1990, 80, and 50. Okay. So now if I push uh, Mr. in the uh, in the Ali array, how would it be? Console log mm, Ali. Let's run it. So I have pushed Mr. in uh, the array Ali. Okay. Now let's say. Uh, The problem is that the name Mr. is at the end. I want it. Uh, I want to shift it to the start. What would I write? I would just simply add 
ali dot uh, unshift using unshift i can shift it to the beginning the start so it would be uh, mr dot so now you can say that mr ali khan okay so i have used it the unshift method now i want to pop out something from uh, this same array so ali dot pop now let's check it out so the, by using pop method you can pop uh, the last value of the uh, of the element uh, of the array so the mister that was at the end I just popped it out okay uh, let's say I okay there's a function in arrays of JavaScript that says uh, console dot log ali dot index of let's say I write here uh, anything let's say I write here 20 what does it mean if I call this function index of and I pass it with some value let's say 20 in this case what will what will this function do it will search the entire ali array and it would search for the uh, for this element that is 20 and if it does not find anything it would return minus 1 and if it finds the, uh, the the 20 in this array it would return the index of the uh, of this element that we have passed so since we do not have 20 in our array so let's run it So it has uh, returned minus one. Now let's say I pass um, to it, let's say, and I just save it. So it has given me 20 because the first value was Mr. because we have added it uh, afterwards. Mr. Ali Khan, so zero, one, two. All right, now let's, uh, let's let's use a ternary uh, operator here so i let's say i want to check that whether uh, mr ali is a designer or not so i would simply write uh, let's say variable is designer is equal to ali dot index of designer if it is equal to minus one right the answer is equal to minus one so just write Ali is not a designer because it did it did not find designer in the array of Ali is not a designer else the alternate would be uh, Ali is a designer, right? I will just simply console dot log is designer. Let's save it. So it says Ali is a designer because it has this uh, designer in it. If uh, let's say I write here uh, driver. So it says Ali is not designer because it, it did not find driver in the array. So this was about the arrays. Let's uh, close it. Now let's move towards uh, objects. How do you uh, make objects in the JavaScript? So it's also really, really simple at this uh, level. So let's say i have a person named let's let's go to john i have a person named john and sorry 
this is how you, how you make objects. Let's say his first name is uh, John, uh, comma. Let's say his last name is uh, John Smith, maybe. Yeah, John last name is Smith, and his birth year is. Uh, let's say 1995 and you can add arrays in an object so I would write the name of his family members so since okay sorry I just made a mistake we do not use equal to sign here we use colon 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 so let's say people in his uh, family are since he's Jane, so it would be uh, John, so it would be Jane, it would be, let's say, Mr. Mark, uh, Bob, very common name. Okay, so the, the, these are uh, people in his family. What is his job? Let's say he's a, uh, let's say he's a data scientist. Okay, so let's save it. Hope there's no error. Yeah. Now just simply write console dot log. So John dot. Uh, let's say I want to see his last name uh, and his uh, date of birth. His birth year. John dot birth here let's see so his last name is Smith and his birth year is 1995 right if I want to uh, see his family I would just simply write John dot family save so Jane Mark and Bob are his family members so this is how you use objects in uh, JavaScript Okay. The same thing uh, as we just did here, you can use the same thing but using an, another method that is, let's say, variable John equals to a new object, right? This is the second method of doing the same thing. So. I would write John dot let's say first name equals to John for obvious reasons and John dot last name name equals to uh, Smith. See in this method I'm using the equal to sign. In the previous method you had to use it hold on okay <clears throat> let's say his birth year so John dot birth year would be let's say 1995 <clears throat> okay so save it it's all right now just console dot log let's say uh, John dot uh, birth year so the same answer that is 1995 okay uh, so now just come towards the loops I hope that is the last topic for today so let's say I talk about the for loop so for uh, <clears throat> variable i it's, it should be very easy for you uh, variable i i is less than 10 i plus plus console dot log <clears throat> i so 0 1 2 3 till 9 so this is how you use for loop then you can use while loop and other uh, loops okay so I hope uh, this was uh, enough for the um, the basics of the JavaScript language. I would upload uh, a lab assessment of this lab 
uh, it, it would have like two three um, two to three yeah two to three uh, coding assignments a very easy one because this is this should be a piece of cake for you so I would upload that and please submit the assignment in the due date uh, as far as the midterm examination is concerned as you people know that the, um, the, 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 the date has been extended so I will reschedule uh, the presentation <coughs> and the uh, I, I would just reschedule the presentation. The the task that I have given you, the date of the, the due date of the task that I have given you would remain the same. Just the presentation will, would be uh, a little bit late. Okay. So thank you so much. Um, uh, if there is any question, you can ask me uh, using my email. Or uh, if there is any problem in this recording, uh, in understanding of this recording, I may take an online class. Just inform your CRD. Let me know. Thank you so much. Take care.